Hi, to stay up to date, please hit the subscribe button and also the little bell icon for notifications each and every time we make a new video. Hey, Ira Miller here, the Villages Expert, coming to you today from 2129 Barbosa Court. We are in the village of Santo Domingo. So the last uh, home that I video was in Santo Domingo as well. Uh, that other one was 3049. This one is $310,000. This is called a Royal Palm. This is similar to the first one that I video called the Cypress, except this is block and stucco. The other one was wood frame and vinyl. Uh, 1,908 square feet living area for this Royal Palm. Um, so look, I've done a little critiquing already inside, and now I'm gonna do a little critiquing outside. Uh, first of all, let me point something out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you from a listing agent perspective, okay? This blue home with a brown roof, no. That, that really doesn't really get it. So if this was my listing, I would definitely be talking to the homeowner. Now look at the same roof on this home next door and look what color they painted it and how does that look? So, you know, there's another one over here, a blue home with a like almost a charcoal bluish looking roof. There you go. I mean, if you're, you just don't paint a home blue with, with that brown roof, it just doesn't go together. And, this, and it just needs to be done differently. And so if this was my listing, I would definitely be talking to them about, um, about changing the color on this home. All right. So I'll talk to you a little bit more about um, this area. We're very close to uh, Spanish Springs, like I mentioned in my last video. Um, right behind us over here is El Camino Real. That's a major road, but this home is off of that. So we don't have to worry about the, the perspective of this home being right on the road. We don't have to worry about that. We are in a little neighborhood that's... Um, uh, it's not a major thoroughfare even through this neighborhood, so it's quiet, not a lot of activity, uh, traffic, stuff like that going on, so uh, you don't have to worry about anything like that. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll do like what we normally do. We'll just go ahead and go around the outside and then do the inside, and I'll just keep... Uh, critiquing from that point. Oh, and this is the third in a series for a, a guy named Gary who picked out these homes and asked me if I would do videos of these homes for him. So I've come right out. Um, it's kind of a gloomy gray sky. Can't help that. It's been raining a lot here in Florida the last uh, few weeks, I guess. So um, I wanted to get these done and going and getting processed so I can get them to Gary as soon as possible. All right, but anyways, enough of that. Let's go ahead and go um, start looking around the house. And uh, so we'll just keep the video rolling. Two car garage. This is uh, a driveway that's been stamped. So they pour kind of a, a concrete finish on it and they put a pattern on it first, put the concrete down and then pull the pattern off. And that's what creates this, uh, this look on this driveway and walkway. Um, it does look like this home needs a paint job anyways. So going back to what I was saying, um, it's, uh, it's, it's faded out. You can kind of see some chalkiness on my hand. So this home is on the market. Really should have a paint job. So they might as well go ahead and paint this home. Get it looking right 
with the roof that it has. Now, um, this is uh, trying to see if I can see what year this home is. I mean, this uh, air conditioner is. And I'll, I'll have to get back with you on that. I don't want to spend a lot of time trying to find. I can tell. I've got a program where I can tell by the serial number here. So we can also come back and maybe I can find something inside as well. So this is what the back looks like. Now they did something really smart with this home. So the inside, is, uh, the, the lanai is enclosed. And what they did was they put a screened in area off to the side. So we'll see a little bit more of the perspective of that when we go inside. But that was a pretty smart thing to do because what they're doing is taking advantage of all that area off to the side of this home. So let's go ahead and go on inside. Now again, talking to you from a listing agent perspective, this stuff would have to go, this grass. I mean, this is, gr this is just natural gr grass that's grown in amongst this other um, mossy grass. But you definitely want to clean that up if you have a home on the market. They screened the front in the front entrance in or made it a little front porch out here, so that was kind of nice. I mean, I don't know if you really need the front porch screened in. So we'll go ahead and get the tour started inside. So kind of like the last home, like I told you, uh, not the last one, but the, the first in a series of three, this is the same floor plan as the one um, in the first video. So you have your laundry room and then your garage beyond. Two car garage. Your water heater. Not a very bright light here. You do have a uh, pull down stairs. So it's a pretty good sized two car garage. The low light kind of messes up my, my, um, image there, my focus. Here's a little area that a lot of people use for different things, a little office. This looks like a little drafting table, kind of brings me back to my roots because that's how I started my job career was as a draftsman. All right, this is what the kitchen looks like. A lot of people will take these cabinets and paint them. I see that done a lot lately, and I think it really adds a really huge perspective of this, especially when you see something like that. Okay, so you have to do something with these cabinets. Painting them is the thing to do. Grout. I guess I'm very anal about tile grout. In my opinion, if you're gonna try to sell a home, 
you want to get it in as good a condition as possible, but you can kind of see this is a little darker over here compared to over here. So you want to have uniformity in your grout. So again, just my, just my uh, perspective from uh, a listing agent. The uh, baseboard coming off, that needs to be secured. All these little things, you know, this is why I guess you guys have me do videos because you know I'll tell it to you straight and tell you what I think. Tile countertop, some missing grout along here. Different tile, you have smaller tile than larger tile. Here's that uh, side screened in area that I thought was pretty cool. And so this is why they did it. You can see how your, um, your vision goes out to that side yard over there. Kind of a smart thing to do in this area rather than having another dining room because you do have a, an eat-in area in the kitchen. So that's making good use of space or something else other than a dining room. There's your large living room. They don't have any lights in here. I would suggest you put a solar tube in here to light up this space. For sure. If nothing else, a light kit on the fan, but there's no light in here. Master bedroom. Tile. Got to get rid of the blue. Blue countertops. So I'd get rid of the countertops, paint the cabinets. So there's two closets in this um, floor plan. So this is one. Then you have a little private commode area and shower area separated off by a pocket door. But here's your other um, closet. So that's kind of nice. I will tell you though, see how far, see how long this wall is? Okay, um, you can't really see it, but this needs to be painted. Um, I don't know if you can really tell, but there's some dark spots in that paint. But anyways, going back to what I was gonna say, um, normally this was, this was extended out to here and there, and all that was closet. That was all part of the closet. Uh, and it's in the newer models of these Royal Palms. This goes way out like I just showed you. So they've shortened up this closet on you. And um, like I said, normally they brought the closet out this far. So I guess that wall right there will give you a perspective of how much closet space they took. All right, so... Um, Coat closet right there. Let's, uh, we'll see the lanai. That they enclosed. This 
is your guest suite area. It's one guest bedroom. So this is the only place you see carpet. Here's the closets. Everybody wants to see the closet, so there you have it. It's not much to look at in my opinion, but I always get comments. Please show the closets. Pink rather than blue. Got to get rid of it. So as cheap as granite is these days, I would put granite in the kitchen and the bathrooms. For sure. I put some, looks like LVP in here. Or, I don't know the way it, the way it sounds. Sounds like uh, laminate flooring, not your LVP. Your LVP has more of a dampered sound to it. And your closet. Okay. We'll take one more look at this bedroom. All right, so. That will do it for this home at 2129 Barboza Court in the village of Santo Domingo. All right, so there you go. There's my perspective of 2129 Barboza Court. Uh, look, I'm going to get a call from the listing agent. They all do. They all call me and they ask me uh, for some feedback on, um, on these showings. And so nothing I said in this video is not anything I'm going to say to the listing agent. I'm going to tell them the home needs to be painted inside and outside. The grout needs to be cleaned. I'd change the countertops. I'd paint the cabinets. Um, that would make a huge difference. That would pay dividends. Might even be able to raise the price of the home, actually, you know, if you did some of those things that I suggested. But um, so I'm the type of listing agent where I tell my owners, you know, exactly what I think. This is what you need to do to get your home sold. You can lower it tens of thousands of dollars or you can probably put about, I don't know, you know, if you did all the painting, if you did all the granite, clean the, clean the grout and everything, you'd be under 10. So rather than lower the price, I say, hey, put a little bit of money into it. Let's get this thing sold, you know, because we might lower it $10,000 and then have to lower it another 10,000. So you might as well go ahead and start off with putting 10,000 into it then get the thing sold, might even want to raise the price, get your money back or whatever, but that's the way to get a home sold, okay? Not, you can lower the price, you can lower it, you know, 10, 20, 30,000, eventually it's gonna sell, you just have to keep lowering it. A lot of people will even think that changing uh, real estate agents is gonna do it, right? No, wrong. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've had a listing, they didn't take my recommendations, they didn't do as I suggested. Six months goes by, the listing goes, I get ex it gets expired, they go and they call another agent, that other agent, and <laughs> I can't tell you how many times they'll lower it $10,000 right off the bat than what I had it listed at. Right, so I'm either saying, look, it's either price or condition when you're dealing with selling homes, all right? I would rather put it in the condition that people are looking for rather than keep dropping the price to the point where you're about giving the home away. So that's not how I do things. Um, but anyways, 
It is what it is. And so any of those suggestions, the solar tube uh, in the living room, I mean, all those make huge differences when you're trying to sell a home. So whether they take my advice, whether it's my listing or not, whether it's something that I'm shooting a video on, um, I don't know. That's up to the, the homeowner and the listing agent. But um, that's 20 years of experience of selling over 1,000 homes. And um, that's, that's how I go and get my homes sold, by putting money into them, rather than lowering it tens of thousands of dollars. So anyways, enough of that. We'll get off that high horse. Um, so there you go, Gary. There's my perspective. Folks, if you're watching this, this home is available. Um, I've already told you what I would suggest you do to it. So if you come into it with that perspective of putting about $10,000 into this home, you know, maybe if you want to make an offer, you make an offer ten dollars or $20,000 less, whatever. Uh, from what I can see, this home has been on the market um, 31 days. And let's see, have they lowered the price yet? Yes. It used to be 320. Now it's 310. I would have told them put 10 into it rather than lowering the price. And let's do it that way. Let's get it sold. But anyways, um, great location. Put a little bit of money into it, you'd have a really nice home. So there you go. Um, anyways, want to thank you all for watching. If you have any other questions, feel free, as always, to call me or text me at 352-454-9561 or homesaroundthevillages at gmail.com. You can always email me. And as always, feel free to make your comments. And uh, we look forward to seeing your comments. And like I always say, if you're watching this video, it is on the market or else we would put a banner on it that says pending or sold. Or if the person who I'm making the video for, it'll say sold by video. Okay? So there you go. Um, that, this is the third home in my trilogy of homes today. 9-11, uh, September 11th, 2020. And uh, Gary, maybe one of these homes is for you. If not, we'll keep looking. I'll keep making videos for you until we get the right one. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also the little bell icon so you'll get notified each and every time we make one of these videos for you. Okay? Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next video.